No matter what kind of gamer you are, from brawlers to dungeon crawlers, from mining to ranked climbing, there is one experience that we all have in common. Video game music. Every game has it. Some games make it more obvious than others by revolving around music, like Rez, Chime, or even Guitar Hero, but the vast majority of games have music in the background that is less obvious, and most of the time people don't even realize it's there until it's gone. Video game music functionally works similar to movies or television. It sets the tone of the game, creates rhythm to scenes and segments, and it helps the viewer shape emotional responses. Like a beautiful film score, gaming music can become as iconic as the game itself. What makes video game music even more impressive is that it has to sound good looped endlessly. So given all of this, why isn't video game music treated with the respect it deserves? I cannot believe that at the largest gaming award show, the award for best score and music got shafted from the main event, as if it wasn't even important, which to me is an insult to all the gaming composers who work hard to make some of the best music out there. So I want to spend this time to talk about some of my favorite video game music, and why they work so well to enhance the experience of their respective games. Apex's loud and pounding drums and orchestra combo does get me pumped to drop in and squad white people, and the optimistic sounds of the trumpets and violins in Overwatch remind me how much I do love the characters and the story. But lately, I've noticed myself turning off the music to focus more on the game. In a game like Apex or Overwatch, the music is great, especially when winning. but can be very distracting when landing or going into overtime. Regardless, both games' music does an excellent job at setting the tone of the game. But before I was a tryhard streamer boy who turned off all the background music, one shooter's music stood above all others by a landslide. Halo 3's music is so perfectly calculated. It's in the lobby and sprinkled throughout the campaign, but the moment you enter a game, it's completely gone. Which is fine. You want to focus on the gameplay and landing your sniper shots and getting killing sprees. Killing spree. I get it, so I love that it's there when you're waiting to get into an epic battle, and its music definitely deserves love, but the game I really want to talk about is the first first-person shooter that I have ever loved. Time Splitters 2 had so many maps, and each map had its own music, portraying its respective era and time, from the early 1900s to the futuristic alien worlds. It's incredible. When you fight on a military base or a Mexican mission, you get a taste of music that fits the surrounding perfectly. It's not meant to be taken seriously as a pro-level game, but the amount of memories and nostalgia that I get from this game's music, even just the lobby music, is too high to not mention at all. So, uh, can we reboot Time Splitters, please? When you think of platformers, you probably think of Mega Man, Crash Bandicoot, maybe even Banjo and Kazooie, and most likely Mario or Sonic. All of these have music that is iconic as hell. We can't deny that, and you probably already know this. So I wanna focus on other platformers that don't get enough love for its music. First, we have Braid. This game's entire core gameplay revolves around time and manipulating time, and through its music you can feel the effect of the time changing. Its music on the surface is good for establishing this Tolkien-esque theme, but when the gameplay affects the music this much, it's hard to not be wowed by it. And lastly, we can't not talk about Besides the fact that its music is mwah, fantastic, some levels in its entirety are music themed, making them incredibly fun. You have to give these games a try when you have the chance. They are not only great games, but they sound great as well. I'll be honest, I don't like RPGs that much, but I know people want to hear about how dope Persona 5's music is, or how amazing Final Fantasy's score is, and don't get me wrong, I understand why people have fallen in love with this music, but since these games don't appeal to me that much, I'm not going to be talking about it. The RPG that I want to talk about is the biggest one out there. 
Pokemon, and more specifically, the original red and blue version. I know, I know, this is kind of a basic pick, but you have to give credit where credit's due. These games have been remade so many times, but given its limited hardware at the time, it was made on a Game Boy, the music in these games have stood the test of time. From the iconic Pokemon Center music, to the epic sounds of the battle themes, and the spooky, creepy vibes of Lavender Town, Pokemon has always had great music. A lot of fighting games have amazing music. Quite obviously, Super Smash Bros. has incredible music, but it borrows from other franchises. And although some of its original pieces are incredible, like Melee's intro theme or anything on Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I want to focus on a different fighting game. Although games like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat have some iconic music, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 has the most iconic, if not annoying, pick your character song, I want to talk about the fighting game that in my opinion has the best music, and that's Tekken. More specifically Tekken 3. Tekken takes fighters from all over the world and has a bunch of different stages all over the world and somehow makes the music seem cohesive to one game. This music in particular is like a time capsule into the 90s and 2000s, but for a game this aggro, it just works. It gets you so pumped to string a bunch of combos and land the KO. As the video game genre becomes more and more cinematic, video game music grows alongside it. From The Last of Us to God of War to Telltale games like The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us, or even horror games like Dead Space, narrative-driven games rely heavily on the music to tell their story. I know this category is weird because previous games can be both a shooter or a platformer and also focus on the narrative, but I just wanted to highlight the game that I felt was the most cinematic to me. Bioshock's music is so subtle, but it 100% helps the narrative being told. You're in an underwater city full of psychopaths and mystery, and on the surface, it just seems like a horror shooter, but its atmosphere gets elevated to the next level with its musical cues, and at times, because of the music, can be very unnerving or even scary. This game was the first time it felt like I was watching a movie. In fact, the first time I experienced Bioshock, I wasn't even playing it. I watched my older brother beat it, and I kept watching because it truly was an experience like no game before it. Yeah, I was watching other people play games before it was cool. And now video games have become more and more cinematic, and we have to thank the composers for helping create these beautiful games. I could go on and on about my favorite video games and their music. I didn't even get to talk about Kingdom Hearts or Mass Effect or Ocarina of Time or any of these other games that I've fallen in love with, which all have amazing music. But I hope that after watching this video, you go to the main menu of your favorite game and you turn up the in-game music and just start listening. 